All right, y'all, welcome back to Master Mayhem. So we'll be installing a door stop here. And we're gonna go through the flooring material into the concrete, and I'll show you all how to do that. The one I'm using is the adjustable floor door stop by Everbuilt, and then here it just tells you exactly how to install it. We're gonna be drilling two holes, basically one for the anchor and this metal post. I'm just gonna use that to pre-mark. So now we found the placement. I'm gonna go ahead and mark with a pencil the two holes here. So now we get the 5 16 drill bit. You gotta make sure it's a 5 16 masonry drill bit, otherwise you can't hit, con or you know, you can't drill into the concrete. We got it, and we will then, you have to have a hammer drill of sorts so we got i'm actually gonna finally get to test the hammer function on this 12 volt milwaukee the way you know it's a hammer drill it's got the hammer symbol on it as well as at the top of the clutch settings right there you put it on hammer so let's go ahead and get this bit in and then we will begin to drill because i don't need to drill too deep to get this guy in place i use tape to give me that indicator to make sure the hole's deep enough all right, now let's go ahead and do it. Well, it looks like it should be deep enough. Okay, it will look good. You got your plastic anchor, right? You should insert it. And it looks like the plank plastic anchor is a bit longer, so we'll just drill enough to get it another half inch here. There we go. Flush with the floor. Then we can check it one more time here. That looks pretty straight right there. So now we're gonna do the second hole. All right, so we made the holes that we need to where it turns out that it's flush here, just like that. We will add the riser as well. Let's see if the screw can go in. Just a Phillips screw right here. You just screw it into the anchor there that you had already put in its place. And there you have it. Okay, and there you have it. The door is being stopped. Should not hit anything ever as far as you know, being any issues. This guy is solid, not going anywhere. Looks good, feels great. Now I just gotta clean up the mess. That's it, that's how you install a door stop. I had to get a longer screw and raise these up a little bit. I put two spacers there from a TV wall mounting bracket, but that's that's good to go now. But yeah, we just gotta clean up the mess and the door stop is installed. If you enjoyed the video and I helped you uh, see how to install the door stop in concrete, then please like, share, comment, subscribe. And don't forget about entering my awesome power tool giveaway. This one right there, this power tool giveaway. We hold it live every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until next time, all the best to you and yours.